Um, can you state your name and grade? April Rain Carter, grade 12, almost graduated, have a lot of knowledge. Um, my name is Sharon Feet. I'm in grade 11. Um, so how did you get into feminism? Well, me and Sharon have been friends since we were fresh out of the motherly womb. Um, you know, our mothers both were left by their husbands, and uh, so we were, we were pretty much sisters. sisters. So how did you get into feminism? Um, well, I think April said that when we were little toddlers, um, and we lived with our moms, our, both of our fathers abandoned us, uh, leaving just us and our moms. So we, we really had to rely on just, just the strong women in our family, you know? What makes you passionate about feminism? Well, uh, what doesn't? That's a question. I mean, uh, I hate men. Well, I think that we really want to get our word out there that men are men are pigs. My father left me. Useless. Pointless. All he did was donate the sperm. I don't think I'm allowed to say that on camera, but here I am still saying it. And that we really need to do everything in our power to educate women that we are equal to men. Not equal, even better than men. That we are the superior gender. Oh, I mean, sorry, we don't, we don't believe in gender. We, we're not into that kind of thing. Non-binary, you know. Just go with whatever in your head, not in your crotch. Uh, what kind of hobbies do you have? I enjoy making little crafts, you know. I, I have an Etsy page, you know, you can look that up if you like. Uh, other than that, I like protesting, uh, yelling at men, anything, you know, anything that really gets me going and I'm really passionate about. Um, well, I like to knit. Um, me and April, we actually go to the library a lot. <laughs> now that I think about it, it's, we spend a lot of time at the library. Well, you know, until that one time we got kicked out, but that was because we were sleeping. <laughs> Sharon? Yeah? We've had this club for a long time. We've yeah. had some great experiences. I have an idea. Yeah? Please don't get mad or start ranting or anything. Sure, yeah. Promise? Yes. Okay. Okay. I think we should start a Chinook feminist club. <laughs> You're a Chinook? <laughs> Sharon, just think. <laughs> Okay, it's just us, okay? We're the only ones that are enlightened in this entire, like, universe or something. I don't know. Yeah. So why did you start the Chinook Feminism Club? Well, me and Sharon have had our own little club since we were uh, young toddlers. And I decided that we should probably uh, spread our knowledge, you know, get more people involved in the community. Um, we just felt it was necessary to educate people in Chinook and uh, get some more members. So we started the Chinook Feminist Club at our school. Why is it important to uh, educate people on issue of feminism? Well, because uh, men are destroying our society. If we don't eliminate them, we will literally die off one by one. All right, welcome ladies, gentlemen, and all you non-binaries in between to the first ever Chanel Feminist Club! <laughs> All right, so first on today's agenda is... Uh, how we are going to raise awareness for the club and get new members to come uh, join us. Uh, any ideas ooh, out there? Ooh. Uh, 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 yes, you, Sharon, right there. Okay, I was thinking, free the nipple. Free the nipple. But for animals, animals. All right, uh, free the nipple's been done many times, but for animals, it's very uh, unique. Uh, I need something bigger, though. Uh, something really grand. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. I was thinking, you're needing our pen. No, no. Pissing our pants to piss off the patriarchy. <laughs> patriarchy. Uh, patriarchy. Well, I, I, I think it's actually the patriarchy. Patriarchy. Uh, piss pants to piss off patriarchy. Well, uh, I think it's patriarchy. Actually, pa patriarchy. Uh, patriarchy. Let's just go to the library for ideas. Okay. <sighs>
fucking cows. Uh, change the word hurricane to hammocane because men are more destructive than women. Um, I was thinking, okay, no shave November, no men. That we already do that. I could braid my armpit hair if I wanted to. Attention. <laughs> Have a nice day! <laughs> Hi, sir, would I you just, like to join us? No, on no I, just, I just want to go oh, please, outside. No, I just, a, just a moment I, I just, Every no. time you point, I see a penis. I, ju I, just, I just need to go. I, I don't have any interest in a walk slide. Sharon? Yeah? I know we didn't get any recruits, but we're gonna do this slut walk. Just the two of us. <laughs> Together. Just like it's always been. <laughs> you ready? Ready. I do this for my school. The patriarchy. was a great experience for the two of us. Unfortunately, no one else joined. Sharon? Yeah? I think it's about time we put our little club to bed. Yeah. Wait! Centennial Water Park. Okay, I want to take off all my clothes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I think today's slut walk was uh, quite educational to those who saw it. Um, I thought the uh, the issue of women uh, women oppression. <laughs> it's it's for a school thing. <laughs> Another Asian stereotype. Is this what our world has come to? I didn't go to community college. Wait, for this. Sharon, Sharon. All of these white male. Every single hand on here is a white glove. Black. Black men playing basketball. And they're all the same. Uh, the patriarchy. I'll tell you. Look at this. All the same. Well, all men are all the same. So. Ski ball? Why not ski vagina? 
a thick layer of mud that covers the ocean uh, on the bottom. It is called uh, the Patriarch. That's not on there. <laughs> they put a timer on us. Classic. We established the Feminist Club years and years ago. We were seven years old. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that one time where... Uh, yes. But, okay. Okay. Yeah. Another successful day. Feminism. 